Oh, hey there. I didn't hear you come in. Welcome back to Mrs. Lincoln's Kitchen. I was just doing some reading here in Ms. Eliza Leslie's book, Directions for Cookery in its Various Branches. This is a 1978 copy of the 1848 edition. We know that Mrs. Lincoln had a copy of this book to aid herself in learning how to cook. You see, Mary Todd and Abraham Lincoln grew up in very different surroundings. Abraham Lincoln grew up without much in a one-room log cabin on the American frontier. Just 76 miles away, Mary Todd grew up wealthy in a large house in Lexington, Kentucky, a household that owned enslaved individuals. Growing up, Mary Todd never had to cook, clean, or deal with chores. When Mary Todd became Mrs. Lincoln, many of these duties fell to her. As the woman of the house, she would be responsible for making and mending clothes, cleaning, childcare, cooking, and many other tasks. This sounds daunting and like a lot of work, and indeed it was. But Mrs. Lincoln was a strong, independent woman and set out to teach herself how to do these duties. In this kitchen, Mrs. Lincoln would evolve from a rookie to an excellent cook, known for her tasty, savory, and sweet delights. As Mary's abilities to cook evolved, so did her surroundings. When the family first moved into this house at the corner of 8th and Jackson Streets, the layout was quite different. The kitchen was actually larger, composed of what is now the dining room and the current kitchen, known as an eat-in kitchen. In this room was a hearth, or an oversized fireplace, used for cooking. Typically, it would have a metal arm from which a pot could be hung and swing in and out of the fire. Can you imagine teaching yourself how to cook over an open fire? What do you think would be some of the most difficult aspects of that? As time would pass, Mrs. Lincoln would move up from a hearth to this top-of-the-line stove, complete with four burners, two bay oven, and a warming rack. The Royal Oak by the Jewett and Root Company was a modern, well-engineered stove. Just listen to its description from their 1856 catalog. This is a new stove just out. The style is one of our best, and we think will please all. It has got up to meet the wants of certain sections of country for which there has been no low oven stove exactly right. It is made with a very large firebox, large fire door, and very large flue to give it a perfectly easy draft in all places, and will burn oak wood, even green wood, or any other kind of poor wood and warm a cold house. It operates in the most perfect manner. The Lincolns had the number nine, the largest size of this model. One can only imagine how excited Mrs. Lincoln must have been to have this stove in her kitchen and how much easier it would have made her culinary duties. Have you ever remodeled your kitchen? Have you ever made a major upgrade to one of your kitchen appliances? Do you have a favorite cookbook? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next time.